Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, welcome back to RimWorld. Um, this video is going to be 100 days as chocolate farmers. I think that's what we're going to go with. We've got a massive open field, we're going to have a massive amount of, you know, crops grow in, we're going to be farming, we've got low difficulty, it's going to be a chill video today. After a quick sneezing fit, we've got our first room set up, next is the bedrooms, and then we're going to start growing stuff. Wow. Um, Jamie and Athena. It's funny because I've been watching a lot of Battlestar Galactica lately, lately and I didn't even realize her name was Athena, but you know, I like it. I dig it. We've got uh, Jamie and Ath Athena already getting their, knocking their boots. Damn, these two move fast. Boom, bedrooms. Madame and all. Madame and all. I think they serve more of a nuisance threat than an actual threat. Having mad animals in in as a as an event, more of a nuisance thing than an actual threat. But fine. What I didn't, however, realize is when I picked this map, we have caves down here. It means we have insects, and I hate that. I absolutely hate it. We have solar power now, and a fridge freezer. That, well, it's not a fridge freezer, it's just a freezer. But that's working. We've got the bedrooms done, we're working on some lights. Next thing is to make this into a rec room and start growing. I tell you, these guys move so quickly. Like, wow. You know, they've been on the rim four days. Already, you know, started doing the do. One of them is pregnant, and now they're getting married. We are laying the final plots down before we start uh, sowing the plants. I'm gonna go grab some steel to do some things that I can. Oh, to build the kitchen. And then moving on. Ooh, our first raid. I'm afraid, sir, you're going to die very swiftly. Um, I have it on Phoebe Chillax, and it's a low difficulty. This is going to be just more of a, a chill playthrough, this one. Already shooting at the poor guy. Doesn't really stand much... Oh, headshot. Doesn't really stand much of a chance, I'm afraid. Pew, 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 pew. I love the sound of the bolt action rifles. They're not the great weapons, but I love the sound of the bolt action rifles. Can you guys like actually do something? All right, Jamie, go home. You three come up and deal with this guy already, yeah? Like he's been shot like six times and you haven't, there we go. Um, I don't care for capturing him. I do care for the wake up. Gonna work on getting a pen set up so we can tame some animals. Mila is the only one capable of growing heel root and the coca plants at the moment, but that's what she's working on right this second. We've got some animal taming going on and we're also doing some hunting. Our first crops are already coming through. This is wonderful. They're celebrating the survival on the rim by eating all of the Frickin' food, having a binge party, but you know what, they can do them. They, they can make themselves happy. We've got enough food stored up. Next step is a research bench for, I think it's Athena to research some things, although I'm not quite sure what we're gonna research first. Though something like beer brewing would make a first step quite sensible, I think. Because then we can export it and sell it too. Wanderer joins Harold. Yes. You can you can join us, Harold. Please be good at something. You know what? You're going to be our new miner, Harold. Because it's pretty much all you're useful for. And cooking, I suppose. You can do that too. Eel. Crops are coming in at full speed. And we are also getting some scarecrows built up to keep the uh, keep the mammals away. 
That covers the whole zone, doesn't it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, Jamie and Athena are getting married. Not only that, uh, Athena is about to give birth as well. And Richard and Mila are now lovers too. I think this might just be like a, a fucking a baby farm at this point. Time to make a brewing station, I suppose. And we already have a brewing station set up for when we have enough to make it. Ooh, the merchant and the ghost face monkeys. Two man hunting monkeys for this stuff. Ah. Five reinforced barrels, so I can make five mortars eventually. That's kind of odd. But the small mana mana metric power cell is probably the best thing. And for two monkeys we can we can do that. And there's a shaman merchant nearby now too. I'm not gonna buy much, but I am gonna buy another alpaca. Maybe a dromedary. I can give them a bunch of this medicine and the wake up. So I'll offset the cost a little. The monkeys. Um, not really worried about the monkeys. Oh my god, they get here quick. Uh, I'm not really worried about the monkeys. I say that, maybe I should be more worried about the monkeys because my guys can't hit squat. And the theme is really slow because she's mad preggers. I'll have Harold take the hits. Or, or not? That's one dead. I'm more worried about them hitting Harold with the gun than I am the monkeys. So I already have more food than I necessarily need. So I'm immediately going to start making fine meals. Uh, and then I'm going to go for a journey, I think. This mother trucker. This mother trucker. Traitorous bitch. Nah. There's no sympathy for you. You're just, you're just, just dead. No sympathy at all for you. The only thing I'm going to take from you are your clothes. You know what? Not even worth taking your clothes. Might leave you for the insects. And Athena is in labor. I mean, you guys can come watch, sure. It's not weird to watch a childbirth, right? Oh, so not the time, Mr. Muffalo. So not the time. Alright, you guys are gonna leave the childbirth and go deal with this stupid Muffalo. Imagine just being attacked by a giant muffalo while you're trying to give birth. And they both missed. Well, at least one that one hit. It's time to play the merry-go... Um, oh, the muffalo go around. There we go. He's dead now. Time to see if we have a healthy baby. We have a healthy baby. Chewy. No, I like the name Chewy. We'll go with Chewy. Time to go on a journey. Wait, how does that carry? Oh no, it doesn't. Never mind. Uh, travel supplies. Just take a few fine meals with us. We're back in time before they rot. Take a couple bits of medicine with us and we will take to trade uh, a bunch of this herbal medicine. The dye, because that sells for a fair amount and we can have lots of it. And however much corn we can carry. There we go. And I'll have Jamie go trade and then bring back the silver. Well, I was going to do that, but we were being raided, so I'm just going to have 
Uh, how's Athena doing? Oh, you're fine. You can get up and run. Let's go. Go fight this 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 stupid little piggy. He's attacking immediately, so. You may fire when ready. Nitro. What name? Let's fall back a little bit. Keep him at a distance. He's only got a pistol. Someone just took a hit there. Alright, we can take him. He's not a problem. Unless you all keep missing. Ugh, you would destroy the, the gate. This is something that really bothers me. Because these get broken so damn easily, and I don't understand why. Good. Glad you're dead. Look at him riding his little camel. I didn't realize they would go... What in the hell are you doing? No, no, no. I didn't realize they would- that's the way they would go to form a caravan. That stressed me out. Now, Mila and Richard are getting married. This is just like love fest, baby. Alright, go ahead and trade with the- Oh, you can- you can- you can get there, like, go ahead and trade with them. Right. I'd like another- ooh. A slave. It'd be nice to have someone who can fight well. I'll give them all the corn. And all the dye. It'd be nice to have someone who can fight really well. Okay, I like the idea of having someone who can fight really well. Do I need to spend all of this food? Probably not. What if I did herbal? Oh, they don't even want to buy the herbal medicine. Okay. Um, I could get another alpaca, but I don't think we're going to really need it. Maybe I'll grab some components. And some more actual medicine. And then just take the rest of the, the, the money... What's you wearing? Oh, that, I would have to buy him as a slave. I don't want to... I'd rather just recruit him. So I could build a prison cell, I suppose. And just, like, recruit him. He's good at fighting, but not a whole lot else. Good at artistic. Yes, and medicine, and decent. Alright, we'll buy him as a slave. We'll imprison him, and then we'll recruit him. I think that's the plan. It's cold snap, so I'm having to harvest what I can. And and rescue what I can from our crops. But that's a ton of chocolate. That's some that's some real good stuff. But I'm worried that Chewy is gonna get cold. So I'm gonna move the um I'm going to move the crib into the brewing room and then put him in there so it, it will stay nice and warm. The rest of the colonists, I think, can survive the cold. Not happily, but they can. Because uh, they can just go in and out of the thing. I'll, I'll work on getting a tailor bench set up. A love enhancer. Humans have always tried to use every new technology to enhance satisfaction. Bionics were no exception. Simplot makes physical and chemical changes to the body which enhance the experience. So basically it gives them minus four beauty but gives them more chance of having babies? Or I can get a shield belt. I want the babies. Give me the babies. Oh, it's good trader. It's kind of handy. I didn't realize quite how well chocolate sells, to be honest. I'm gonna keep some of it back for our colonists, but trade most of it. 
The cold snap is now over, thankfully. And we're back to growing all of our crops. We have a transport pod crash. We'll capture them. Not capture them, we'll rescue them and see if we can make use of if they want to join us, they can join us. If not, then cool. It's going to be adding... Oh, we can't very well let the child die. Going to be adding... Um... Oh, please don't tell me you have a psycho dependency. You don't. You have a prosthetic leg. That sucks. Um, we're going to be adding sprinklers to our our little garden over here. Um, unfortunately, Stanley over here. Why can't we build the roof? Let's not build roof there. I don't know. Um, Stanley is being followed, and we will rescue him because he's a child, and it feels wrong to leave the child to possibly die. And that just doesn't feel right. So, welcome Stanley. You're pretty useless, but it's fine. You can do certain things though, um... I will have you learn to mine. Once we have dealt with your Followers. Hopefully we can bait them into coming to attack us over here, yep. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, they come down here? You would set fire to things, wouldn't you? Why, why would you do this to me? Oh man, you move quick. That's scary. I don't like how quickly you move. Everyone go and melee him. Please don't lose any body parts. That would really suck. Good job. Alright, go, go sort all everything out. We have recruited Dosbon. Our, our farmer, or our shooter, slash, I'm gonna have him work on, I'm gonna set up an art, an art bench. So we can start working on that as well. As soon as I can find the art bench, there we go. Um, so he can work on making us some art and doing the fighting for us. Uh, small sculpture. No, we'll do large sculpture because they don't take up one space. Do forever. And only do it out of wood since we have so much of it and it's so easy to get it. Dozvon, that is your job. Art and only art. And drugs, apparently. There you go. Dozvon is pumping these art sculptures out. We're not gonna place the anything anything worse than normal. We're not gonna place, but we will keep to sell. But like, damn, my guy, you just pump them out. I'm loving it. E Richard and Mila are now getting married. Apparently, they've chosen this this one unoccupied bedroom. Because why not? Maybe you're not gonna go see it. No. Okay. Well, please not. How do they level up in construction? Oh, I don't know. Please, now they get to enjoy some chocolate. Now, these camping parties, they never learn. Because that always happens. They never, ever learn. Go and rescue him. They always end up, like, getting hurt and dying and leaving a bunch of food for me, which I'm usually okay with, but, like, they never learn. So I'm just gonna basically steal all the muffalo corpses they left behind and use them for food. And we're being raided. Ooh, four people. I don't like that. Okay. Um. Right, Stanley, go hang out with Chewie just so I, I know where I can protect you. The rest of you are coming from this way, so 
come down here. I do believe they're all melee. They are all melee, so that gives us an advantage. Because I can just kite them around like I usually do. I have to fire spew, I will, but I don't want to do that near the base. But let me let me go ahead and set a fire spew up. That call that raider there. Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, Dos. Oh, you are str Oh, I'm so sorry, Dos von. Hey, Richard, come this way. You guys back up a little. Just gonna have to divide and conquer a little bit here. You actually just hit Richard. Good, good job. Good job. Good job. You hit Richard. You shot Richard. You shot your own teammate. Right, that's one down. It's the fire I, I really worry about, considering we're all still we're still on like wood buildings at the moment. Focus on the one that's close to you, will ya? Alright, I'm gonna have Stanley go and rescue him so he doesn't burn to death. While the others are funneling through here. I care not about do I care about them enough to rescue them? And then release them. Probably. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then go and put out the fire. I had to throw in some more batteries, but we've now got sprinklers in our base. Which do use a fair chunk of power, I think. Not that much, though. Um... I need to make a new room for the batteries and storage, I think. So I'm going to have it down here. And then maybe move the, the crafting stuff down here as well. Getting a little too warm. So we've added a couple of coolers uh, around here to, to cool off the area a little bit. And we're working on the storage slash construction zone. Sending Jamie out on another trade caravan. Which means we're going to have the stress of going through the insects again. Which I don't like at all. But... Okay, if I do this... <clears throat> we'll go around the back again. I think they're chasing him. I don't know. They're sleeping now. I really wish they would pick another way. I have this... Zone forbidden from moving. But they still go through it and I hate it. Stanley became an adult. Iron willed. Great trait right there, iron willed. Nimble's pretty good too, but iron willed is perfect. And Stanley is now an adult and... Excuse me. Needs some proper clothes. Do we have any proper clothes that you can wear? We do. All good. Except you are wearing... I don't want anything that's tainted. I don't want anything under 51%. So do you need to go put another cloth on? Another top on? Do we have another top? No. We'll make one. There's a bloody wolf in our timber pen and he's just killed one of our alpacas and he needs to die. Because he'll go for the other he'll go for the other baby one. Go on, scare him off. Shoo, shoo. Nah, he needs to die. I don't want to come anywhere near our base. Alright, you scared him off. You scared him off. That's fine. There's only one baby alpaca. We've got a ton of other alpacas. And we're ready to trade. So... We'll get rid of... The food we bought to trade. And I'll see how much money we've got to work with. And the beer. And the sculptures. Cool. Let's see what we've got to work with. I can get some gold. But I'm thinking... Have they got any decent weapons? A doomsday rocket launcher? Not the kind of weapon I'm looking for. Skill trainers? Shooting a skill trainer would be nice, maybe? I could also really deal with the steel. 
know how much of that I can take without going over our weight capacity. But I could really deal with the steel. And then maybe some components to top us off. And then still manage to bring home some silver. Awesome. That's three months done already. Let's go. We are expanding. We're building. We'll, we're, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, the farms are coming along nicely. We've just researched our material. Uh, guns, I think, is the next step for us. It means... What is this battery doing here? Put, put it there. It means we can floor our... Um, our cooking area and our research area. I may build an, uh, an extension onto this building for the research hub. But we also could really do with a hospital, so we'll work on that soon. What I would really like is some guns, some better guns. So I could research them or I could try and go buy them. I think that's what I'm going to have Jamie do. I'm going to have him go for another caravan and see if we can buy some guns. Which means we need to go through the fuck. The, the the bloody, like, insect-infected cave again. I may have to come clear this out. Nah, we're all good. I say, I may have to come clear this out at some point, because these are getting on my nerves. And they have so many resources in here, and they're sort of just hoarding them. This one's going to be slightly hard. All right. We are at the trade spot. If anything, would we'll, it'll just be a case of getting more silver, but like... Get rid of the flake, I don't really want that in my base. Here we go, weapon. Your triple rocket launcher. These are all melee weapons, I kind of wanted more guns. I may have to go further out. Skill trainer, medical. I may have to go further out. I mean, we'll take some more components. But where's the nearest place we can trade with that will accept us? This place won't have guns, I would imagine. These guys are all enemies. That's the same faction. The only faction I can trade with right now? I think it is. And they don't have any guns. It's not helpful. We're gonna go down and trade with the tribes. But ideally, I would like... Yeah, they're the only people I can trade with. Ideally, I would like to be able to buy some guns from somewhere, but apparently I can't. Uh, we'll trade with them, see if they've got anything I want. They do not. Golden Spear is kind of cool, though. No, we're all good, but you can have some of the herbal medicine if you want to buy it. Uh, you can have it all. Move on. All right, we'll trade with the tribe, see if they've got anything. If not, we'll, come, we'll go on home. Okay, so we're at the the... Settlement. Yeah, they don't have anything much better either. Okay, well. My duck ducks. Duck ducks? I can buy a blackjack, but no. Nah. Alright, come on home. Uh, we'll try this trade up here and see if they've got anything either. Mad rabbits. Seemingly, what, only two or three? Three, I can see on the map. I mean, I'd rather not deal with them, but I'm going to have to. They're all over the damn place. Athena, why are you so slow? Oh, you're carrying the damn child. Oh, you idiot. Athena, get in there. Stanley, get in there. Drop the baby. Where 
are the rest of the angry rabbits? One coming down this way. One more coming up that way. I refuse to let rabbits be the end of this civilization. Unless, like, we're killed by cuteness. That I might accept. Rabbits are very cute. Thank you. The last of them I can't see anymore on the map. Okay. Now go rescue the child. There's another angry rabbit. I must have missed it. Must have missed the angry rabbit. Fine, go and kill it. Good job. I think that's definitely the last one. I mean, these guys have a minigun. I can't afford it right now. I can't afford the minigun right now, but I want the minigun. I'm very close to being able to afford it. If I just, like, drop some medicine, maybe a couple components, worth it. Gosh danged minigun. Alright, I think it's time to go take on some of the insects up here. Because A, we're lacking a little bit of combat, and B, if I'm going to be going through here and trading and trading a lot, I want to, like, I want to clear it out. I'll have Jamie take the first shot here. He can get in range of one. Shoot the damn things. And then run away. I think that'll bring them all this way. It did not, but it brought one of them this way. If I shoot it again. I want to have Jamie closer to the wall so he doesn't get hit by the minigun accidentally. Maybe I have, should have Stanley do this because he can shoot faster. Just like a little puddle of water here. It would also be great if you could hit one, Stanley. I'll go for the hive. Are they all gonna come at him? I think they are. Run, Stanley, run! Keep drawing their attention as well. Hey, we killed one. All of you fire on this mega scarab. Preferably without hitting Stanley. Kill the damn thing, will you? Key. Okay. There you go. Now they're all chasing us. Miniguns are cool. They're not all that effective as a weapon, but they are cool. It's the overwhelming firepower. Why do you guys never target the thing that's closest to you? Target the thing that's closest to Thank you. Are there any of them left, or is that all of them? That's all of them. Alright, Stanley, you can go home. And I'm just gonna have Donovan... Don... Don... Dosvan finish the rest of these off. So I was thinking... We could start... The Mechanator quest... Stuff... So we can then get a, a couple of aggro hands that would help us with the farming. And I think that's a really good idea. But first I want to build like a, a room that can handle all of that. Like that stuff that is involved with it. At 11. Yeah. Can I just not 10, 11. There we go. Um, so that's what I think our next step's going to be. Okay, so now we have the room set for the Mechanator stuff. I wanna... I wanna destroy this thing, the Exo Strider, so I can... build, start building my own mechs. And then I also should set this as a home zone so they immediately tackle the fire. There you go, it's gonna 
blow up. And now go tackle the fire. I want Jamie to decrypt that transponder as soon as possible. And I also don't want this fire to spread, so keep keep tackling. There we go. And we'll go ahead and uh, accept that right now. There you go, Mechanator ship. Here it is. All of you come down here. I'll leave Stanley at home. It's a Scorcher and a Militar. I'm not particularly worried because I don't think they have the best of range. Yeah, they have a tiny range. I'm not even remotely worried that even we're going to get hurt here. I should probably wait till everyone... Oh, no. I was just going to say I should probably wait till everyone's here to start shooting, but... Oh, I was wrong. We did get hurt. Yeah, that Scorcher moves fast, too. Let's start dragging them home. The Mechanate is dead. Or the Mechanate corpse is... The Mechanoid corpse is dead. The Militaire. And so is that one. Go ahead and extract the Mech Link. And disassemble that ship. And we'll start bringing the corpses home. Or Watkins. Carrying some Yayo. It's fine. I'll let his I'll let his body thingy there. And install MechLink to become Mechanator. There we go. Who's gonna come home? And we got a lifter. Not the one that I particularly wanted, but we'll take him. Alright, 56 days in, we're starting our mech playthrough. Mech like not really a playthrough, but you, you you know what I mean. We've got a mechanoid stuff running, and we've got Lifter 1 over here doing his bits. Doing it. Ooh, that, that could have come out, right? That could have come out better. Yep. And we'll have Jamie uh, work on a subcoder and then gestate a hauler when we can. Not a hauler, a agrahand when we can. And on the day of our first year on the rim... We've developed our first Agra hand. That's going to help us a lot, to be perfectly honest with us. Perfectly honest with us, with you. Uh, it's going to be a, a modest, like, plow through, but it, it will certainly help. And that is where we're going to end today's episode. I could go to 100 days. I will go to 100 days in part two. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and a comment. That'd be kind of cool. I like talking to you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.